Ahuna Matata, boys and girls. How's it going this fine Friday evening? So, uh, apparently Tennessee baseball is in a tad bit of trouble over potential Kansas transfer Maui Ahuna. The baseball sensation played at Kansas, Tennessee. Now look, before I get into this, this is all allegedly, supposedly, uh, hearsay, whatever. I'm just talking about what I've read on the internet the last 10 minutes ago. I didn't even know about it until I saw Lou's video about Tennessee cheating again. And of course, you know how Lou went in on the balls. Expected from a hater of the University of Tennessee. Everybody hates the University of Tennessee. <laughs> I actually saw a video a few minutes ago from A to Z Sports talking about, in big letters, the NCAA hates Tennessee. Okay, so they're keeping it hush-hush the university is about what the violation is, but apparently there was a violation involving Ahuna and as a result, right now Tony Vitello has been transfer, uh, transferred. He's been uh, postponed. He's been suspended for this weekend series against Dayton. Which sucks because me and my cousin Peyton, yes his name is Peyton, we're actually going to go see the ball Sunday. We still might, I don't know. just depends on the weather. But anyway, uh, Tennessee opens up last weekend out in Arizona with a three-game series with three different teams. Arizona, which they lost 4-1, uh, to one, I think it was, 3 or 4-1. to one. Then they lost to a really good Grand Canyon school on their home field, 4-3. to three. Um, And then picked up a win against UC San Diego on Sunday. And uh, won two games with a very terrible Alabama A&M school uh, this past Tuesday and Wednesday. So they sit at 3-2 and two right now. They're going to win a pile of games again this year, regardless of how this thing turns out. What my understanding is, the violation which Tennessee self-reported, I think is over Tennessee flying Ahuna from... Hawaii to, to Arizona. His parents come over, blah, 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 uh, and he doesn't get to play because the NCAA is still, we're still waiting on them to rule on this. Um, so Uncle Lou can call us cheaters all he wants. That's fine. Uh, if they committed a violation, technically, yeah, that's cheating. But it sounds like it's something stupid over paying for a flight, and apparently that is a violation, I don't know. In this day and age, and I'm not making excuses for Vitello, the University of Tennessee, or anybody else. If they committed a violation, shamey, shamey, shamey. Uh, nothing's going to come out of it. I would imagine, other than, you know, Ahuna Matata losing playing time at Tennessee. Hell, I don't know. He may end up not even coming to Tennessee, for all I know. For all I know, he, he's a student and is just waiting on the NCAA. That's how little my dumbass knows. I just know that the internet is blowing up now with Tennessee's Vitello being suspended. If you go look, at uh, Tony Vitello suspended... 13 minutes ago. Tony Vitello suspended 25 minutes, you know. So, tis what it is. This has nothing to do with football, thank God, because at the end of the day, Tennessee fans really, I'm not going to say we only care about football, but let's face it. Tennessee is the revenue maker at the university. It's the revenue maker for all Power 5 programs, Except for Vandy, maybe. Uh, I don't know. They're in a league or class or seller of their own. But anyway, I suspect nothing will happen about this. Maybe some fines, of course. Um, I'm, I'm just waiting. Monday, the university is supposed to come out with more details. 
So we will know more Monday. Monday, Monday, Monday. So let's, uh, let the hate videos come for the University of Tennessee and the cheating and whatever and, you know, uh, whatever, whatever, whatever. Does it change the fact that we're going to have an awesome baseball team again this year that will probably uh, possibly screw up in the Super Regional or a Regional and not make it to Omaha? Who knows? Hopefully that's not the case. Hopefully they go to Omaha and win the whole damn thing. That wouldn't surprise me. Well, yeah, that would surprise me. A Tennessee sport winning a national championship would shock the shit out of me. Um, but it can happen, and it's going to happen in my lifetime. It'll happen before I have teeth. Maybe that's why nobody watches me. They can't stand seeing a toothless hillbilly ramble about the University of Tennessee, and that's fine. I've been doing it for 14 years on here. Fuck you if you don't want to come uh, watch me. And Hoss 410, Ghost of Hoss 4107, I've said it before and I'll say it again, you can kiss my ass. Whether that is the real Hoss behind that account or someone else. That's the thing about troll accounts. You never really know. Unless they just come out and say, hey, this is me behind this troll account. But we can't get the Ghost of Hoss 4107 to do that. I've asked the real Hoss. He's denied it twice, but then the last time when I asked him uh, a little more fervently, with a little more passion, I got no reply. So in my opinion, that tells me it's him. Uh, so come on out, Hoss. Open up. Open up to the world and say, hey, yeah, I'm behind the Ghost of Hoss 4107 account. It's not like anybody's going to give a shit. Who's going to care if you admit that you're behind that account? I don't. Nobody else will. The ten other people that know about it won't give a damn. And I've totally gone off subject here. Sorry about that. Uh, toot back at you, rack. Tennessee sports is a staple in the BBD world. So, if we get another slap on the wrist for something stupid like buying, paying for a flight for a player and his family and or his family, so be it. I'm more worried about getting this Slob Olympics training video edited and put out before the Slob Olympics get here. My computer is... Uh, kaput, it's gone to kaput, like the commercial, and my buddy Sean has got it, trying to, uh, doctor it and get it back to me tomorrow. If that happens, hopefully I'll have my Slob Olympics video ready and edited, and ready for debut Sunday night on Sunday Night Live from the Pumpkin Patch. Go ball, screw y'alls, I love you, mean it, hug your mom and daddy, and, uh, get off of Tennessee's ass, alright? We got enough problems not being able to win. And breaking, breaking my heart every damn sporting event I seem to watch. So, so leave us alone about a damn flight. Video underscore recording.